Hey folks, welcome to Moonshift Audio. Although the free soft synth Vital's been around for quite a while now, and I know more and more people are using it, I hadn't actually ever found the time to dig into it myself. This week I thought I'd give it a try. And although I haven't played around with it that much, what I'm seeing I really, really like. And the fact that it's free is absolutely fantastic. So for this week's video, I thought I would just do a really simple demo of quite a basic trick that you can use modulating the pitch of your oscillators with an envelope. This can be used to make a simple kick drum sound, which you get quite a lot of control over, the decay, the note, of course, as well as the kind of amount of click that you get from the envelope. But you can also use this technique to add a bit of punch or a bit of sort of transient impact to almost any synth sound. Let's take a look at Vital. Okay, so this is Vital. And for this basic kick drum, we only need one oscillator, but we do want a sine wave. So I've just flipped over to the basic shapes here. There we go, playing some quite low notes. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull the sustain down to zero so we can sort of define the length of our kick. That's not a bad starting point. Obviously you can choose as long as you want for the track that you're making and it's very adjustable, which is always useful. But the main characteristic of this sound is a really nice big envelope mod on the pitch. So I'm gonna drag that onto there. You can see that is modulating by 48 semitones, which is probably about right actually. Gonna pull the sustain down to zero again and we should hear this big pitch slide there. And the speed of that is going to be defined by our decay. And you can use this to make a sort of like disco kind of like zap toms. But that's not what we're doing today. So I'm going to pull this really, really short. And we're just going to creep it up slightly. And you start to hear this kind of percussive kind of knock too far. And you start to hear it as a audible ramp. And this is where it sort of comes down to taste. You can have a slight kind of like zappy sort of kick sound. Or if you pull it back just a tiny bit more. You've got your kick. That's kind of it really. We might want to distort that a little bit. And there's all sorts of other things you can play around with adding noise or layering up like a hi-hat sample to give you a little bit of a click on that. But as a basic, basic synthesized kick, that pitch envelope on a sine wave really, really does it. But that kind of pitch envelope trick is also useful on other sounds. So what I've got here is the jungle track I made on a recent video where I was looking at creating your own jungle breaks. You can hear the break that I made myself behind this. And I've got a really, really basic bass tone here. It's literally just a sine wave with a triangle wave layered up. Done a little bit of work on the first envelope just to give it that kind of nice bouncy timbre but it's not cutting through the mix that well. And so to give that a little bit of a kind of like that similar sort of knocking effect, that kind of little percussive punch transient at the start of each note, I'm gonna do the same trick. I'm just gonna pull the envelope onto the pitch of the sine wave oscillator. Now. I've already pulled the sustain down to zero, but if we start to Yeah, we just want that nice little knock. If I just bypass that. And in the context of the mix, that's really going to help. You might decide that's a little bit much, in which case we can just come into the matrix and change, pull down the amount. without 
Just a neat way to add some emphasis to those notes. There's nothing stopping us from doing this on both oscillators. Pull that down as well. Definitely makes it more pronounced. I wouldn't recommend using this trick on every sound, but certainly on basses and some leads, it can be a really nice way just to add a little bit of kind of transient punch to a sound. That's it for this week, but please do like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, resources, and downloads from me at Moonshift Audio. Till next time.